As wildfires rage across our state, we know that you have to be prepared for fire danger here in Southern California. It could happen anytime. But consumer investigator Randy Mack explains why you may suddenly be underinsured. Tucked away in Canyon Country, Linda Ferry works hard to keep her home safe during fire season. I've put blood, sweat, and tears in clearing this place so it's always ready for a fire. She even has two donkeys. That's Paquito. To help her clear away the brush. All the stuff that's dried, that's their native like food source. Insurance industry experts say keeping your property cleaned up like Ferry does is the most important thing you can do to protect your home from wildfires but you also need to financially protect it too. It's really important to be financially responsible. Your home is your largest asset. You want to protect it. That means reviewing your homeowner's insurance policy, according to Nicole Ganley with the Insurance Industry Trade Group. I know talking about insurance isn't very fun, but Ganley says it's really important, especially right now. She says many people are likely underinsured, and here's why. There's a lumber shortage thanks to mills that were shut or slowed down during the pandemic. Add to that the demand for lumber created by other natural disasters, and this has caused the price of wood to skyrocket. It's up 400%, Ganley says. That means rebuilding your home could now cost much more than your insurance will cover. So you'll either have to shell out thousands of dollars in cash or rebuild a smaller house. Instead of building back your 4-3, you have to build back a 3-2, and you don't want to do that. So Ganley says call your insurance agent and ask about extended replacement cost coverage. Extended replacement co cost coverage is going to give you 150% of coverage. It's going to give you more to cover that demand surge. She also suggests tweaking your insurance policy so that it adjusts to inflation and building code updates. Ganley concedes these policy changes will cost you a little more, but she says it's a small price to pay for peace of mind. A five, 10 minute phone call can make all the difference between recovering or not being able to rebuild that house that you've invested everything in. Ganley also recommends that tenants go ahead and buy a renter's policy, and that's something that you can easily attach or bundle to your car insurance policy. As for those tiny fragments that fly off wildfires, they can actually pose the greatest danger to your neighborhood. And tomorrow, I'll show you how to make sure that your home isn't harboring any hiding places for these embers. We'll have eight tips that could help you prevent a disaster. That's coming up tomorrow on NBC4. For the I-Team, I'm Randy Mack, live in Chino Hills for NBC4 News. All right, Randy. We